two RBIs, three runs. That was yesterday. He had himself a very big day. We saw this guy right here, Mike Olt, already down in the count 0 and 1. But in batting practice, this kid can hit. 49th overall selection in the 2010 draft, part of the Texas Rangers organization. Fouls that one straight back, and the count is still 0 and 2. Olt has a great reputation as a professional, even at a young age of 23 years old. Great approach to the game of baseball. Old played has, at, oops, go ahead, played at the University of Connecticut. Old has eight home runs in the fall league, and all of them have come at this ballpark. Did he check his swing? Yes, he did, so it's a one and two count. And with that said, of course, a member of the Rangers organization, the Rangers and the Royals actually share this facility in the spring. And we see that at a couple of different ballparks in the fall league. And uh, we'll be here the next three weekends, so we'll be kind of bouncing around a little bit, different ballparks. We'll get into that as the month of November rolls on here on MLB Network. Here comes the one-two. That one's in the dirt. The count two and two. Texas Ranger organization has uh, really developed some good power-hitting prospects. You've seen Nelson Cruz arrive on the scene in Texas, who had a big impact on that Texas Ranger ball club this season. Safe to say, yeah. Swings through that one, and that is a strikeout. So the first out of the inning for Garrett Cole. Nice play by the catcher. And that'll bring up Mike Olt, who struck out in his first plate appearance. Now, you were a catcher. There's a right way and a wrong way to block home plate, right? That was the right way. I like having that left leg on the foul line on the corner of the plate. That gives us the runner the opportunity to slide towards home plate. If you completely block it, then you're forcing them to run you over. That was certainly a big topic of discussion this summer, of course, Buster Posey in San Francisco. And uh, I know you were at the studio right around that time when we talked about it then. And it never really went away all summer long as Olt sends this one. And that will get through the right side. So a run will score. And moving to third is Myers. The throw to third and now back over to first. And Olt will stay put. But another run comes home. And the West. All with that great approach right there. That's a tough pitch just on the outside corner. But hits it just hard enough to get it past the diving second. There, there is a funny reaction right there as that ball started to get closer to him. Yeah, just looking from our spot here in the press box, there's a little ribbon board just above the first base dugout. I don't know if that what is what it was, but the lights are seemingly a bit higher than that ball was hit. But whatever the case may be, Myers into second, and it's a 10-1 lead for the West as Mike Olt steps in, and he's got a 2-0 count on him. And Olt, again, we mentioned it before, how well this kid is. There, there you see that ribbon board. Um, so we'll see. Who knows? We'll have to ask Junior Lake after the game. I think he just was surprised at how hard that ball was hit. That ball was smoked by Will Myers. It rolled all the way to the track, so <laughs> it wasn't a cheapy. I mean, those are quick, quick hands. For a guy who I would say if, of all the players in this game, Will Myers' prospect stock put, took the biggest hit during the regular season, and he's doing everything he can in the fall league to get some of that back. That's in there for a strike and count two and one. I mean, his numbers, in the, I mean, it's the AFL, so the offense, the numbers out here can get inflated. We see the wind blowing out, and, you know, a lot of pitchers aren't at full strength at the end of, of a long season. But he has dominated this level with power, with more walks and strikeouts. And he, you see the quick hands and the, he just has some thunder in his wrists and his hands, Dave. I mean, he, he had an easy, easy batting practice and probably was as impressive as anyone in BP other than Bryce Harper. He was. He's got, got a very relaxed swing, short to the ball. That's I've been very impressed with uh, a number of these hitters here tonight, including Mr. Alt right here. It's like their approach, very quiet up at the plate. Payoff pitch. Sounds like a broken bat to short. Lake Fields throws, and they got him. But that's the end of a four-run inning. Did you ever do that, Dave? No, no, I wanted all the protection I could have every time <laughs> I stepped on the field. Mike Olt takes outside for ball one. You Olt know, you, with a strikeout, an RBI single, and a ground out. You grow up in New York and you play your high school baseball there when there's still ice on the field. <laughs> you want something on your hands. 
Oltz, a guy who played baseball in the Northeast as well as he went to UConn, the University of Connecticut. He was teammates there with a couple guys, got drafted in the first round this year. George Springer of the Astros went 11th overall in the Red Sox first round pick. Uh, Matt Barnes, right hand pitcher. Inside, the count now 3 and 0. You have Diekman out there hitting 96 miles an hour on the previous pitch. So you know, this is a left hander with some some real velocity, a tough slot. And these guys are you know, still getting good contact off him. Franklin uh, broke the bat, but now Myers with a double. And, and here's all working a walk. So you can have all the stuff. you If you 